As Rockstar Games continues the heist event that has been happening for about three weeks in GTA 5 Online, it looks like rumors and reports from the community that the Panther statue is spotted at the at the Kyle Preco Island. Again, my name is GTA Puffs here, and we're going to be going over everything that has changed in GTA 5 Online with some more features added to the heist event, such as Kyle Perigo bonuses and more. So let's get right into today's video. So again, it looks like Rockstar Games wanted to focus on the Kyle Perigo Island heist concept, as they said this. Visit the tropical shores of Kyle Perigo to take advantage of a half prep costs when staking out the John Stickler Sun Soaked Citadel and the opportunity to loot the exclusive Panther statue once between now and November 21st. While all GTA Plus members are still guaranteed to encounter the Panther statue in El Rubio's inner centrum every week during the current GTA Plus membership event that ends December 12th, the Kaya Perico series is also offering double rewards. While there are additional bonuses for discovering hidden caches back in southern San Andreas. If you haven't dipped your toes into the island based heist yet, visit the mu music locker located in the Diamond Casino and Resort to get started. Meanwhile, revisiting the prison break and the Series A funding heist will result in double the usual take on the finales through November 21st. And you can read on for more and check back on Tuesday, November 22nd. As the heist event reaches its conclusion with a high stakes community challenge. So I know there's a lot to take in here. And the first big thing that we can take here is this event week is ending early than normal. But it's still six days. As I just read, this will be ending on next Tuesday, uh, November 22nd. This event week started yesterday on uh, November 17th. But it looks like Rockstar has something big in store that, we're, that we are going to talk about in a video to come on the channel. So I'm not going to dive into it. But anyway, it looks like regular players uh, that don't have GTA Plus can get this Panther statue once when you're, you know, prepping the heist. And GTA Plus members can still get the... Uh, the what I should say, the uh, Panther statue uh, too. Again, it doesn't, you know, ruin your chances at all. You still have that exclusive ability to get that. And again, that is the big thing. And again, you can also do the Prison Break or the Series A if you do not feel like doing Kyle Perico because again, you'll be still getting double the usual. We also have double GTA cash and RP on the setup for classic heists and still 1.5 GTA Cash and RP for the Doomsday Heist Prep Missions. Again, as part of the ongoing festivities, completing setup missions for the original crop of the classic heists will pay out double rewards, while prep missions in the Doomsday Heist will earn will reward 1.5 GTA Cash and RP determined types who manage to complete all heist finales before November 24th will also receive GTA $2 million to reward their technologies and courage delivered within 72 hours of completion so again you still have time to complete the heist uh big challenge to get that two million that will be ending next thursday on the 24th so the event week will be ending on the 22nd while you still have till the 24th for that challenge again i haven't done the heist finale just because i really don't have anyone on a next generation consoles to do them with so again it looks like i myself aren't going to be getting the two million dollars but it's okay i do have some money for the next update that we'll be talking about in that future video to come on the channel again you can collect a cinema call cuban shirt and the strickler hat again successfully Escaping after completing the finale of the Kyo Perico Heist will get you the rare Sintma Cuban shirt. Those who complete the Kyo Perico Heist finale using the Vellum Approach vehicle will be rewarded the Strickler hat added to your wardrobe before December 2nd. So if you do want to challenge, again, do that Vellum Approach. It's a different approach than I think a lot of people do it, but again, you'll get that, that rare hat. But if you scope it, you'll get that nice uh, 
button down, uh, looks like, I don't know what it looks like, like little, uh, kind of looks like a pumpkin from Halloween around that shirt. I, I don't know what it is. Again, you can log in to receive a bundle of rare clothing. Again, play G2 Online anytime between now and November 21st to receive the Knuckle Duster Tee and the Baseball Bat Tee to commemorate the 25th anniversary of Grand Theft Auto. Then see if you don't feel a panning of logging for a similar time in your life. You're welcome. So again, these two shirts most players probably have in the game already as they have already been you know, featured as a free item before. So I don't know why Rockstar is adding it to the game once again. I know for sure I do have these two shirts. Again, we have double rewards on the Kaio Preco series races. So if you want to go on the Kaio Preco Island and don't want to do the heist, take advantage of those races. Also, if you do want to do more races, the stunning Racings of a Cunning Stunts event is double GTA Cash RP as well. We also have the 30 hidden caches back in the game. It's Rockstar says it may glitter a sparkling at surface level, but plenty of the mystery lurks in the depth of the Pacific Ocean. Use the sonar upgrade aboard the Kasaka, Avis, or Tordor to locate, collect 30 hidden caches to receive a bonus of GTA 100 thousand dollars so again this event actually came out when Kyo Perico heist released uh, because of the Kosaka and the sonar station you know was added to the game so again that is back don't forget about PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X slash Ace we have the premium test ride the Coil Cyclone 2 and this week's time trial if you want some extra money is from point to point rush from Sandy Shores to La Puro we also have Simeon's uh, premium Deluxe Motorsports. Again, these cards are featured at his place this week. The Briscoe 300, the Manish Gachi, the Skandava, the Entity XF, and the Vomis. Also at the Luxury Auto Showroom this week, if you do want to check these vehicles out and buy them, we have the Italia RSX and the Imatron. So again, that is a car... Uh, actually featured in the luxury autos and that Imatron car I do not remember it being released I'm not sure what update it was released on but again that car is kind of pretty sick it makes me want to end up buying it on my page again we also have the Stralavanti Baller ST in on the lucky wheel again that's some pretty sick artwork that Rockstar has made uh, we also have some vehicles at the LS Car Meet, and we have the Hatachu Saber, the Vapid Payot Glacier, and the Volca Nablo Turblo. We also have a new vehicle in the prize ride. You got to place top three in the street races for three days in a row to see that Lapidani Tripos Rally. Also, we have some discounts. The Kasaka is 35% off, 30% off a military rifle slash combat shotgun. 30% off the short sleeve party shirts, 35% off the Nagasaki weaponized dinghy, and those are all your discounts, plus a lot of vehicles on discounts this week, ranging from 30% off to 25% off to 15% off. The Overflot Drama, the Overflot at the DXF, the Declass Vemis, the Mastodon Manny Scott, the Buckla Number Turbo, the Sparrow, the Mammoth Squaddy, the HVY Vercher, the Grotti Italia RSX, the Anus Savitra, the Grotti Briscoe 300, the Declass Hot Spring Saber, the Western Company Anima Stealth, Vapid Winky, the Dinka Verser, and the Searcher Long Thin. Also, remember from Prime Gaming, Rockstar's kind of having a special just because of the update coming up. It seems like, again, you will get $125,000 just for playing any time this week. But if you both play... Any time from the start of November to December 7th, you'll get a one-time login bonus of $500,000 for being a Prime Gaming member. Also, if you're a GTA Plus member, you get another additional five hundred k. So again, all of those money will be deposited in 72 hours of the start of the next weekly event. So again, that's that. So it looks like Rockstar is basing, you know, the vehicles on sale and, uh, you know, a lot of discounts and stuff regarding from the Kyo Preco heist. I'm going to try to do the Kyle Preco heist this week just to get those bonuses. I always love that heist. 
uh, doing the approaches and you know stuff like that. It does keep me busy in GTA Online. But there was an update regarding GTA Plus members about the Kyo Preco Heist primary targets. According to Tis Ones 2, he updated this yesterday. He said GTA Plus update. Rockstar increased the chance rates for the Kyo Preco Heist primary targets. And basically, the tequila is about 0% chance. The ruby necklace is a 40% chance. The Baron Bonds is about a 30% off, 30% chance. The Pink Diamond, a 20% chance. And the Panther Statue is a 10% chance. So again, you can see how, uh, you know, ranging from uh, the tequila to the Panther Statue, you're going to get a high chance of either Ruby Necklace or the Panther Statue, but with the Pink Diamond and the Bear Bonds in the middle. But he did have a follow-up. A little afterwards, he said the chance rate on tequila is most likely a typo. If adjusted, chance rates will be 0% for tequila, Panther Statue 30%, Ruby Necklace 30%, of the Bear Bonds 20 and Pink Diamond 20%. So that is just a little update for GTA Plus members out there. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more GTA videos like this. Again, my name is GTA Puffs, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.